That said, many of you dealing with heavy rain last night. Yeah, we have team coverage for you, but let's begin with Candace Hare, who is in Barberton. Candace, what are you seeing? Good morning, Dave Isabel. Yeah, I'm right near Barberton High School, and I want to give you a look here behind me. This is Barber Road, and as you can see, Barber Road right now looks like a river. And now, this is an area that we know can be prone to flooding, uh, but we did speak with a officer with Barberton Police who came through here just a few minutes ago, and that officer said, one, that this area doesn't flood nearly as often as it used to, and he said the amount of flooding we see here is certainly more than is typical for this area, but we know this is not the only area that has been flooding. We know we've seen some flooding in Akron. I want to give you a look at some video from yesterday when that flooding first took place and we saw cars that were stranded. People had to get out of their vehicles, abandon their cars there in the water. And we saw that many of those people, you know, had to be helped out of their vehicles as well. We did get new footage into the newsroom today of that area. And thankfully, it seems that most of those cars have been moved out of the area and what is really left there is just a lot of mud and that's what you're seeing everywhere. You're seeing this mud in the area that is left after many of these waters have receded. Uh, one couple we spoke with over in Akron, they said that they were just so tired and yet they had to come home and find this flooding. We've been gone most of the day and uh, we went down to have dinner and stuff with my mom and came back and it's flooded. We we're so get tired. We're ready to go home and this is crazy. Never seen it like this. Nothing. You know, I think it after the week that we've had as far as weather is concerned in Northeast Ohio, that's a really relatable sentiment that people are tired and yet it feels like every day something new is happening. Uh, for reference, if you don't come down here to Barberton very often, a Barber Road that way where it is flooded, that heads up to uh, I-76, US 224, so it can be a pretty important road in this area. But we know other areas are experiencing flooding as well, so we want to head out to our David Greenberg in Cuyahoga Falls. Yeah, Candace, thank you. Here in downtown Cuyahoga Falls, right next to the uh, Cuyahoga River, where uh, just yesterday that mixed with multiple inches of rain caused flooding in parts of Cuyahoga Falls. I uh, want to show you the video from last night. Our crews were out here, and you could see on Graham Road, it had flooded over in certain areas. There were barricades up. Uh, there were cars that were stuck in the middle of the road. Uh, one, of our, one of our crews on scene spoke with a man who uh, said that he saw the water coming in so fast fast that it was taking over cars. Cars had to be stranded there in the middle of the road. Thankfully, it's a lot different this morning. I, spa, I put a call into the fire department, spoke with them. They did say, thankfully, uh, they do not have any crews out right now responding to areas, so that water has subsided here, but we know uh, it looked a lot different out here last night. As we were driving around, like you were talking about, Candace, we did see some of those uh, dirt patches, those, uh, those pieces of pavement that were covered over with mud from where flooding had been last night. So yeah, some of those roads, uh, you know, kind of closed right now with some flooding, but thankfully here in Cuy uh, Cuyahoga Falls, not the case. Want to check in with Matt though now, uh, get a look at our roads the rest of the morning. Good morning, Matt. Yeah, good morning, David. I'll tell you, it's interesting because you see these videos and that's something you usually see on national news somewhere else, right? And the other thing is we've been in a drought. And so if we were not in a drought, this water would still be hanging around, but a lot of it is soaked into the ground because the ground needs it. It just takes a lot of time, right?